Hi guys, it is a chilly winter day in the last few days of April here. Uh, in the collapse of global industrial civilization, uh, I think we're at, it feels like February 26, I think we're at Wednesday, uh, April 26, 2023, and the little dog and I need to pack it up here in Pennsylvania and head back to Bugs and a Jar Farm for another summer of fun. But before we do, guys, I just, uh, I, I, I can't, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I just can't resist doing this quick uh, commentary on a, um, on a uh, YouTube video I watched uh, last night, but I just want to tell this story before I do, uh, before I do. I want to tell this story. This was pro this was back in the 1980s when I was living in Santa Cruz, California, and me and my dear sweet now late great wife, uh, we were heading to Tahoe for the weekend and took that beautiful drive over the Sierras and uh, dropping down and right at the uh, the California Nevada line I think we were on highway 89 it's either 4 or 89 and that beautiful you know looking like the opening scenes to Bonanza uh, and the entire highway we came down was covered with this herd of sheep where this one poor schmuck on a horse and his two sheep dogs were moving this giant flock of sheep uh, across the, the highway, uh, trying to keep all of these sheep in line. I, I mean, good God, there, I, I know there had to have been a thousand sheep in this uh, thing. So we were fascinated. We were sitting there in, in my truck watching it and all of a sudden, just this explosion. I mean, sheep going in every single direction, just these panicked sheep on, on full-scale freakout. Uh, just absolute pandemonium. Uh, the sheep dogs suddenly were, were going fucking, oops, were going crazy. The, uh, the, the, the shepherd uh, on the horse looked more like a cowboy, was in absolute freak out mode. And, you know, and, and, and my wife and I are just like looking at each other going, what in the hell is going on? Well, what was going on? was that our dog, uh, he was a mixed Labrador retriever, this big black dog uh, had seen all these sheep and had busted out of the camper shell on the back of the truck and charged into the middle of this herd of sheep and absolute pandemonium. Uh, as uh, these sheep, it was every sheep for himself. There, there was no sign that any sheep uh, was trying to help the sheep next to him. So I I anyway, uh, I, I just had to tell this story because it's germane to this interview. It's, it's really not even important uh, who was being interviewed or who the interviewer was. I actually uh, have to say the the, uh, the, the, the person holding the interview, uh, as I told this person, you deserve a purple heart for uh, having that interview. And, and I was so glad that, uh, that, that I did not invite uh, this person uh, on, 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 onto my own show. So anyway, at the beginning of, of the interview, this person being interviewed, you know, talking about, as we talk about in the Doomosphere, about, you know, when, you know, the 99.9% .9 of this planet who are completely unaware uh, of, of how screwed we are, uh, pull their heads out of their oil wells 
and really understand what is going on in their lives, their children's lives, their grandchildren's lives, that uh, they are going to go into a complete panic, just like uh, those panic sheep I saw. So this person says that, and uh, the interview was, uh, there was a little bit of conspiracy talk in there, but there was some good information. This person uh, clearly understands, this person is not a clueless moron, clearly understands that uh, where we are uh, as a uh, as a planet and as a global industrial civilization and understands that when the, 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 the panic sheeple, well, when the sheeple become panicked, uh, that it's going to be an ugly scene. But then towards the end of the interview, uh, as happens so often, and this is one of the major reasons that uh, I stopped having interviews on Collapse Chronicles. One of the major reasons, I simply got sick and tired uh, of having uh, a basically intelligent conversation with someone who understands uh, the precarious state of everything on this planet. Then all of a sudden, this person was talking about cleaning up the Pacific Ocean, uh, you know, the plastic garbage, you know, that thing, gyre or gyre, I've heard that word pronounced both ways, that uh, just take some boats out there, clean that up, just, just suck that, uh, that plastic right out of the ocean, and we can make diesel fuel out of it. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm thinking, where did that comment come from out of this person's mouth? And then from there, uh, for, we went from making diesel fuel uh, out of the Pacific Ocean's plastic garbage uh, to save the planet. And, 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 and then before I knew what was happening, the same person who is talking about how humanity is going to go into a panic when they understand uh, how, you know, how screwed we are, how doomed we are, uh, that what this is, how humanity is, is going to respond to this, all of the various tribes this person and the interviewer were talking about earlier uh, about how as things uh, come apart on the planet, as you see that the different tribes are digging in deeper. That uh, whenever uh, you know humanity starts sensing a threat, how we divide up into tribes. We become more tribal, more nationalistic, uh, that we have no interest in sharing information. All this is, all of this has become is a shouting match. Uh, so after stating all of this earlier in the interview, then this person comes up and, and, and announces out of nowhere uh, with, with exactly zero evidence to back up this absurd claim that all of these warring tribes, all of these uh, factions that we are splitting into at this level of threat, that we are going to come together, that we're all going to come together in some big kumbaya moment uh, and, and turn this freight train around. I, 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 I was utterly shocked when, uh, when, when I heard this person who I erroneous, be, erroneously believed was a doomer. I, I have been quoting this person at length 
uh, on several of my recent uh, on several of my own recent videos. I was absolutely shocked that this person uh, w was sitting here and spewing this kumbaya moment. Uh, at, at you know to, to wrap up, uh, you know throwing this little uh, happy horse shit, hopium soaked Hollywood ending uh, onto a otherwise not counting some of the conspiracy stuff on an otherwise basically intelligent hour long conversation, just out of nowhere. Uh, you know, I was thinking, oh, oh, what I would give for the interviewer just to very subtly, uh, you know, put in uh, Kumbaya being sung by the Seekers in the, in, in the closing minutes of the interview. Uh, you know, come on. Uh how all of the panicked sheeple, uh, it, it, it is going, uh, the more and more uh, that, that people understand uh, what's going on on this planet. Uh, we're we're going to be getting as far from Kumbaya uh, as the North Pole is uh, from the Amazon rainforest. It is... It, it, it is going to be uh, pretty much every person for themselves. Uh, we are going to more and more and more, we're going to uh, start becoming what we were for 200,000 years. We're going to be, be isolating ourselves into smaller and smaller tribal units. It's going to be, we're going to be looking after ourselves, uh, our immediate families, and, and closest circles of friends. And, and this is, uh, is true for the cops as the robbers. It's going to be everybody out for themselves. And as this person was stating earlier in the interview before, started getting a little bit conspiracy wacko, you better believe that these billionaires uh, and, and the people they report to uh, are, are going to be uh, digging their boot heels in to protect their own interest. Uh, and then I wake up this morning and reading this article, which I might be bringing out the you know that the military budget for the for this planet in in 2022 was the highest global military budget in history. There's nothing surprising about this. It was 877 billion dollars in our own country, uh, 40 percent of the globe's military budget. Uh, coming from the U.S., uh, military budgets are swelling everywhere as everybody uh, buckles down uh, and, and, and chooses their little teams to get behind, uh, cheering on their little team, uh, defending their turf. Uh, it, it, it's... You know, when I was interviewing uh, Sheldon Solomon uh, a couple of years ago, if you haven't heard that interview, you know, we were wrapping up and uh, coming to the close of that interview, and I say, okay, bottom line, Sheldon, Kumbaya or Mad Max? And uh, he goes something like, well, it, 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 Sam, as much as I wish... Uh, this was all going to end in a kumbaya moment. Uh, the smart money is on Mad Max. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. And uh, I, 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 I've just had it with the hopium. Uh, we're, we're going to suck uh, the plastic out of the Pacific Ocean and, and, and make uh, diesel fuel to, out of 
plastic garbage to save the planet, about as much as the 8 billion people divided up into all their little factions are going to come together in a kumbaya moment to save this planet. Go down to Haiti and talk to me about kumbaya. Anyway, i got to wrap this up. Oh, it's a little dog and I need to get out of here and get back to that mud hole uh, called Bugs in a Jar Farm while we still can. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. We really are heading back to Bugs in a Jar for you to go get your chippies. Bye, guys.